So hi, this is what you need. A 30 amp junction box, a screwdriver, a pair of cutters, and some earth sleeving. Right. Here is your two pieces of cable. You want to make sure you cut the ends off square and flat like this to begin with. Then start on one piece of cable. Cut in the middle slightly like this. Cut again and do this. And then pull this apart and you should see the earth there in the middle. What you do is basically grab the earth with your cutters carefully and slowly, oh, didn't work, do it again, slowly pull back. You can use pliers if you want to do this. So you pull back like that to about that much, about the length of your finger. Then you do that, unravel these like that. And then you've got all three cables. Then cut off the excess outer insulation. And you've got all three. I'll just uh, leave it there a minute. Right, now you've got those three. Separate them, get the earths in the middle twist them together like that so twisted cut off the if there's any longer than the others like that so you twist it you don't have to go mad twisting it you get your earth sleeving put it measure it out so I measure it to about there then cut it off and put the earth sleeving on there so you've got the piece of the earth sticking out and uh, then you've got your live and you've got your neutral so you get your live you do basically you get the cutters and you twist lightly with the cutters you don't go too hard keep doing this until you can pull that like that so you've got that amount there you then twist them like that do the same with the neutral like that and then you've got again so now you've got that that cable is now ready so you've got that cable i can do it again with the other piece same thing Get the split down the middle there. Um, use pliers if it's easier. As I say, I've got some pliers. And then grab the earths and then pull that again about the length of your finger. Open them up. Cut off the make sure you don't cut any of the earths make sure they're all out of the insulation it's clear and cut there then you've got them live neutral and the earths again get the earths twist them together like that got a bit of excess cut there get your earths leaving 
measure that earth off again, earth leaving off. Put that on there, like that. Again, it's about, I don't know how many mil that is, roughly. It's not critical, but. about 15 mil say, something like that just do this with your cutters and then like that do it on the neutral like that twist them if you're not able to twist them with your fingers you can use your pliers and just twist them they don't have to be too twisted just like that so like that. Right. So now you've got the two ends ready. So now next you get your junction box. You unscrew the lid. I've already unscrewed my lid, but unscrew the lid. You get your three terminals. The earth um, ideally needs to go in this one because it's further away from the other two. So what you do, if, if you, this makes it easier, I don't, I don't always take the screws right out, but you can do. So just take them, make sure you don't drop them either. This is, uh, you know, the classic. Dropping them under the floorboards. So you take all three out. Right, put them off my yeah. so, so, I don't know. If I can... oh, I see better now, isn't it? Right, so then get you live. Put that one in there like that, that one like that. Obviously, it's quite simple, you know, red to red, black to black, earth to earth. And you just screw like that, making sure that. The insulation's not under the screw, it's just purely the bare wires. Do the neutral the same, pushing in like that. Again, the same thing again. Tight, not so tight you break the junction box, but you know, tight enough. And again, get your earth, put that one there. Sorry, it keeps going out of picture. Right, that earth there. Get your other earth in there. Your last screw. Then you just check that they're all in tight and then you want to make sure this is inside the box you know none of this is outside then so bend it in like that that way bend it in like that that way so they don't get trapped there in these grooves sometimes these grooves you have to remove them with a you'll cut you know gently break them out until you get the little gaps then you get your lid make sure that is not going to sit on top of the cables and then get your lid 
screw your lid down. You don't have to screw this box up under the floor. You can leave it loose, you know. Um, so that's it. Back on.